All right, the next thing I'm going to do, uh, now that I've shown you how to practice your skills, uh, is go to the newbie zone where you can find some uh, low-level mobs uh, for you to fight and gain experience. So as you can see, we're starting from the market square. I'm going to head north into the temple square. North again to the temple of Midgard. All right, north again, excuse me, north again. Uh, the room will be the, so it'll say by the temple altar. Uh, north again, it'll say behind the temple altar. All right, north again, it takes me into the great field of Midgard. Uh, north again, uh, still in the great field. It has a, a larger description, kind of tells you what the area is like. Um, and then uh, it says there's a strange structure to the east. So I'm going to look east and see what I see. Uh, so we're going to head east. And that puts us in the newbie zone. Uh, so I'm going to go north into the beginning of the passage. All right, east. If you look here in the exits, all right, this one is in red. Uh, it has parentheses around it. Uh, that shows you that there's a door there. Um, so I can open door. Uh, type open space door and push enter. All right, now if you look, I can now uh, go through the south exit. Uh, so these are the guys that I uh, want to fight, the little creepy crawlies. All right, so I'm going to type hit. Uh, and then you always want to type a, a, a word that describes the monster. Uh, most of the time you could do hit goblin or hit dragon. Uh, but if there's more than one, um, you can also do uh, hit creepy.1, for example. And this would attack the first one. All right, or creepy.2 would attack the second one. Uh, when you get into a combat situation... Uh, the top statement each round of combat is going to be the monster's attack towards you uh, or the other person in your group if they're not attacking you. The second statement is going to be uh, your attack towards the monster. Uh, if it's green, uh, that means you missed. All right, if you see the text here in white, all right, that means the monster has hit you or you've hit the monster. Um, eventually, if you are uh, doing well and doing enough damage, uh, you'll start to see messages that says that you know the creepy crawly is stunned, uh, incapacitated, mortally wounded. Uh, those are letting you know that you're doing significant amounts of damage and you're going to defeat the monster soon. Uh, when the monster dies, uh, you're going to get a certain amount of experience points. Uh, and then if you look, um, there's now going to be uh, a corpse on the ground from the monster. Uh, if you did not turn on uh, auto loot earlier, all right, you type get all corpse, uh, and that will get any items or gold coins from the corpse. So I'm going to go ahead and attack the next uh, creepy crawly. Sorry, it's hit. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, cast spells uh, for the characters that use uh, spells uh, to start with. During combat, make sure you keep an eye uh, on your hit points. And if you need to, you can type flee and then push enter to run away. Uh, it doesn't always work. And sometimes uh, the monsters will follow after you. Um, here in the newbie zone... Uh, none of the monsters are going to follow after you. Uh, so as long as you're careful, you can explore around here, uh, attacking the creepy crawlies um, until you can get some gold coins. And then you can go back uh, to the town and buy some items, which I will show you how to do uh, after I show you the magic items. So as you can see, I'm not doing too well here. All right, I'm down to five hit points. 
Uh, now, if you noticed, uh, I went from four to 17 hit points. All right. About once every minute and a half, uh, the server updates. Uh, and every time it updates, uh, you're gonna gain back some of your hit points. So I just happened to get lucky there. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop there um, and then show you some examples of how to use uh, spells. All right, for this video, uh, I'm gonna show you how to uh, use spells as a magic user in combat. So we're starting from the market square again. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna travel north to the temple square, north again to the temple of Midgard, north again to the temple altar, all right, north again behind the altar, north again to the field, and then north again to the field. East will take me into the newbie zone So there's a monster right there. Uh, so if I type practice, uh, I can see that the only spell I have is Magic Missile. So the shortcut way to do it is to push C to cast. Put a single quote. And then you need to type the name of the spell and then put another single quote. All right, and then you need to put the target that you want uh, for the spell. All right, so uh, here it says C. Magic Missile, Monster. I'm gonna go ahead and push Enter. So you can see that green message there. Uh, it shows that my spell has hit the monster. If I am in combat, all right, I'm gonna flee because I'm about to die. So that was how to cast spells uh, in combat. Uh, as you can see, Magic users are not very tough to start with, so uh, be very careful when you're fighting uh, enemies as a magic user. Uh, to cast that spell again, uh, all I had to do was just push the up arrow and cast Magic Missile. And I could cast it until I ran out of mana points. All right, And those will refresh every time the server updates, every 75 seconds or so. All right, for this video, I'm gonna show you how to cast spells as a cleric. Uh, so as you can see, the one spell that I know right now is Cure Light Wounds. So I'm gonna type cast. And then to cast it on myself, uh, I would type self as my target and push enter. Uh, sometimes you'll see the message, you lost your concentration. Uh, if you don't have high enough skill, sometimes the spell won't work. Um, otherwise, you'll see a message here that says you feel better. So I'm going to travel to the newbie zone. All right, north from the market square, north from the temple square. And I'm going to travel north until the first time I can travel east. All right, east into the newbie zone. Let's go north, beginning of the passage. All right, I'm going to fight the monster. So you can see the monster hit me, do five points of damage. I'm going to try and cure my wounds. Uh, so as you can see, as I was typing my command to cast the spell, uh, the combat messages kept scrolling. All right. When that happens, there is no spaces entered into what you are typing. So you could just keep typing and then try and cast your spell again. So I'm going to go ahead and flee because I'm low on mana. And that's how to cast uh, spells with clerics. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to use your warrior commands. Uh, Basically, all of the warrior commands are used uh, when you're actually fighting. So we're going to travel north 
from the market square into the field until we can turn west. Uh, so again, we're back in the newbie zone. Go north, east. All right, there's a monster. Um, so the skill for warriors to start out with is called kick. Uh, so I'm going to type kick, and then since that creepy crawler just showed up, I'm going to type kick creepy. All right, once I'm already fighting a monster, I can just type kick. And it'll kick the monster that I'm currently trying to fight. Uh, and I can use the up arrow to keep kicking. Let's try it on the monster. Um, so as you can see, those newbie monsters are pretty tough because I'm having trouble with all four of the different characters. Um, so like I said, to start out with, uh, unless you're playing with a group, uh, I would stick to the creepy crawlies. Um, and then back in the city, uh, the, the Fidos, you can, you can also attack those uh, for easy experience. So those are the, the four main things uh, for your skills.